Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on example problem on convert the given boolean expression in SOP into equivalent canonical sum of products form. In the previous video, we are already discussed about what is the procedure we have to follow for converting the given boolean expression in SOP into canonical SOP with the two example problems. Now in this video, we have to solve another example problem. For better understanding, please refer the previous videos. Okay. Now in this video, the given problem is we have to solve is Determine the canonical sum of products form for t of x comma y comma z is equal to x bar y plus z bar plus x y z. The given boolean expression is a three variable function. It contains three variables x, y and z. The given boolean expression contains three product term. The first product term is x bar y, the second product term is z bar, the third product term is x y z. In the first product term, variable z is missing. In the second product term, variables x and y are missing. In the third product term, there is no variable missing because three variables are existing. Okay. Now, consider the first product term x bar y is equal to x bar y is multiplied with 1. Okay. Now, x bar y into 1 is nothing but x bar y. There is no problem at all. Next one. So, this 1 is replaced with what is the variable that is missing and its complement. That is x bar y here, what is the variable that is missing? Variable z is missing. So that it can be multiplied with the missing variable z plus and its complement. Okay. So we already know that z plus z bar is equal to 1. Okay. So it can be replaced with 1. x bar y into 1 is nothing but 1. So, what is the variable that is missing in the product term that can be replaced with sum of that variable and its complement that is z plus z bar. Now, we have to multiply. x bar y is multiplied with z. We can get x bar y z. Next, x bar y is multiplied with z bar x bar y z bar. Okay. So, after re after replacing the missing variable and its complement, then what is the product terms we are getting? x bar y z plus x bar y z bar. Okay. Next. Next, I am taking the second product term z bar. So, z bar into, what are the variables that are missing here? Variable x and variable y are missing. So, two variables are missing that can be multiplied with 1 into 1. Okay. Next one, z bar into, here first variable missing is x. That can be replaced with, one can be replaced with missing variable plus and its complement. Okay. Next one. Next, what is the variable that is missing? So, variable y is missing. So, now one can be replaced with y plus y bar. Okay. So, we already know that x plus x bar is equal to 1 and y plus y bar is equal to 1. Okay. Now, we have to multiply. So, z bar into x, z bar x bar. Next, y plus y bar. Okay. Next, what we are getting here? x, y, z bar plus x, y bar, z bar. Next one, x bar, y, z bar. Next one, 
X bar, Y bar, Z bar. Okay. First, Z bar is multiplied with this one. Next one, this one is multiplied with this one. Then, what are the products we are getting? These are the products we are getting. In the third product term, there is no variable missing. Okay. After that, we have to combine X bar Y plus Z bar plus X Y Z. Okay. What are the product terms we are getting for X bar Y? This one. So, X bar Y Z plus X bar Y Z bar. Next one. What are the product terms we are getting for Z bar? This one. X Y Z bar, X, Y bar, Z bar, X bar, Y, Z bar, X bar, Y bar, Z bar, plus third product term, there is no variable missing, that is X, Y, Z. Okay. Any redundant term is there that can be right only once. Okay. So, X bar, Y, Z x bar y z x bar y z okay it can be occurred only once so that we have to write this product term plus next it is completed next one x bar y z bar x bar y z bar so this this term occurred here also okay so, two times it is occurred so that we can write only once x bar y z bar plus next one x y z bar x y z bar this term occurred only once so that we have write next one x y bar z bar x y bar z bar this term occurred only once. We have to write x, y bar, z bar. Plus, next one, x bar, y bar, z bar occurred only once. x bar, y bar, z bar occurred only once. Next one, x, y, z. x, y, z. Okay. So, after eliminating the redundant terms, so only um, one term that is eliminated okay so now observe each and every term in this result okay so this term contains three variables either in complemented form or in uncomplemented form this term this term this term this term this term all the terms contains all the three variables of the given function either in complemented form or in uncomplemented form okay each and every term is a each and every term is a product term so each and every product term is also called as a min term because so it contains all the variables of the given function either in complemented form or in uncomplemented form Okay, now it becomes the equivalent canonical SOP for the given Boolean expression. Okay, so therefore x bar y plus z bar plus x y z. For this Boolean expression, the equivalent canonical SOP is this one. Okay, the above Boolean expression. The above Boolean expression is the equivalent canonical SOP. Canonical SOP for the given Boolean expression. For the given Boolean expression. Okay. In this way, we have to solve the given problem. Okay, so thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please share this video to your friends and classmates. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel and uh, share that video to your friends. My WhatsApp number 919492704500. If you have any doubts, you can ask me.